Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my absolutely delicious blackened salmon with lemon butter sauce, guys. It's gonna be absolutely tasteful. So without further ado, let's introduce these ingredients and get started. We have our salmon, and what I did was I got a bowl with cold water, added some salt, placed the salmon in there, washed it off, and then I rinsed it off with some cold water, took a couple paper towels, pat it dry, and this is where we at. Anyway, for our seasoning, we have ground black pepper, as well as Creole seasoning. We also have some dried oregano, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, as well as dried thyme. Now for our delicious garlic lemon butter sauce. We have some butter, as well as lemon, dried parsley, and we also have some minced garlic, cayenne pepper, for that extra kick, of course, and we have some onion powder. So without further ado, let's get started. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these ingredients and I'm gonna combine them. I'm gonna take the Creole and the black pepper, dried oregano, paprika, as well as the onion powder, garlic powder, and parsley. Give it a good mix. Get that black and seasoned combination perfect. And I'm gonna put my gloves on, and I'm gonna turn the pan on as well, because we want this pan to be really hot. Really, when we say hot, we mean smoking hot, okay? Smoking hot, really, really hot. Anytime you're blackening anything, the pan needs to be hot because guess what, we're searing it. So we need that intense heat in order to blacken it basically. All right, we're gonna take our salmon and we are gonna drizzle it with a little oil. Now here's the thing, you can also use butter. And the reason why you can also use butter is because once you get it in the pan and the butter starts to melt. The milk solids and the butter is what's gonna turn the salmon black. Mm -hmm. Also, you can use oil, it's not a problem. Because obviously I'm using oil, you can use oil, it's not a problem. We're gonna take our seasoning and we are gonna generously spread it on. Or should I say like, use somewhat of a spreading but yet patting technique because we wanna pat that seasoning into the salmon. We wanna make sure it's thick, because not only is it gonna give our salmon perfect flavor, but it's also gonna contribute to the blackening process. Mm -hmm, perfect. And that oil that we added, or if you choose to add butter, is what's gonna help the seasoning to stick to the salmon. Just like that. Perfect. And we didn't add it. We and we didn't add too many salt contents. We just added a little bit of Creole seasoning for that, you know, extra flavor to give it that balance when it comes to salt. And we could get carried away and add our seasoning because it's not going to be salty because we didn't add any uh, salt by itself. We just added a little bit of Creole seasoning to the mix. And this is what our salmon should look like, perfect. What we're gonna do is, we are gonna add some oil to our hot skillet. You can also use a um, cast iron skillet for this as well. Mm -hmm. And that is perfect. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna place the salmon skin side down. And the reason why we're placing it skin side down is because guess what? Because we're searing it and we're blacking the salmon, the skin is tough, so it could withstand the intense heat during the cooking process. Yep, that's the trick. That's why usually when they say skin down is because the skin is the toughest part and it could definitely withstand all of that intense heat without, guess what guys, overcooking the salmon. Mm-hmm, it's a trick to everything, right? I got you, I'll let you in on the little secrets. Now, when it comes time to flipping the salmon, the perfect indication is when it starts to turn white around the edges. It's gonna go from pink to slightly opaque, slightly white, and that's gonna be our perfect indication as to when to flip the salmon without overcooking it. Because the trick is, yeah, we want our salmon to be seared, but we don't wanna overcook it. <laughs> we want it to be nice and blackened, but not dry. We want it to be moist and flaky. Perfect. 
So when cooking the salmon, it should only be two flips, or should I say from the time you place it in, you're just gonna flip it over one more time. It's not gonna be repeat a repeat flipping process. It's just gonna be place the salmon into the pan, flip it over one time, and we're done. That's it. So timing with blackening or cooking salmon is everything. Because just one mistake and you could overcook your salmon. Undercook it or overcook it. So it's good to definitely pay attention. Check out the color. <laughs> Look right, look left, and you know, at that point in time, you know when to flip it over. All right, so this looks perfect. At this point in time, we are gonna remove our salmon. I'm gonna make sure I get in there really good. And we are gonna flip it over just like that, guys. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. And this is our salmon right here, blackened salmon. Absolutely beautiful. And I can tell that it's perfectly cooked. Our pan is still nice and hot, so what we're gonna do is, as, as of this point is, we are gonna make a little space, and we are gonna work on our delicious garlic lemon butter sauce. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut a couple wedges from this lemon, this beautiful smelling citrus lemon. <laughs> Alrighty, perfect. First things first, we are gonna add our butter to the pan, just like that. As of this point, we can lower the heat. It doesn't have to be high. We're also gonna add our minced garlic. Mm-hmm. Give it a good mix. Allow those garlic bits to release the, uh, the aromatic flavors. We're also gonna add our onion powder. and our cayenne pepper. As well as dried parsley. Give it a good mix. And we are gonna add our lemons. Squeeze it on out, just like that. And I'm gonna place a couple lemon wedges up in there as well. And as of this point, we are gonna place our beautiful salmon back into the pan. Skin side down once again. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our delicious garlic lemon butter sauce and we are just gonna literally spoon it on top of the salmon. So that way all of the flavors could be absorbed by the salmon. Just like that. And like I mentioned, make sure that it's on low heat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Alrighty, now that we turned our stove top off, I'm gonna go back in there with a little extra lemon juice. Mm -hmm. We want it to have a nice, not only blackened flavor, but a nice lemony flavor as well. You can serve the salmon with pasta, or you can, also enjoy it with a nice salad, or you can also enjoy it by itself. Hey, by itself, like, you know, seriously. Either way, it's gonna be absolutely tasteful and delicious. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna do a quick taste test just to let you know what I think, and pretty much, I'll be back in a couple seconds. Now, this is what blackened salmon is supposed to look like. It's absolutely beautiful, not to mention the garlic bits that's sitting on top of the salmon. I know it's gonna give it perfect flavor, perfectly seasoned. I can't wait to literally dig into it because I know it's gonna be absolutely perfect. It's taste test time, so let's jump right in and get a good taste, all right? <laughs> Look at how beautiful, perfectly cooked, still pink. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, this is absolutely it right here. Absolutely delicious. Perfect contrast of flavors. I just wanna show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Perfectly, nice and pink, nice and flaky, perfect texture, it's not overcooked. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
It has a nice garlicky and buttery flavor, not to mention the hint of lemon that we added. This delicious blackened salmon with lemon butter garlic sauce, it could be served by itself or with pasta. You could even literally shred this salmon and add it to a taco, add some more lemon juice, and it will be absolutely perfect. Not to mention, you can eat this with a salad as well. What? Anyway, guys, of course, cookingwithtammy.recipes, full recipe details, and I will catch you guys in another video. Enjoy. Bye, guys.